Hi everyone, in this video we will discuss how to bind a custom domain with the application gateway. In our previous video we have already discussed what is application gateway and how to deploy it. This video is the continuation of the previous one where we have already deployed our application gateway and with this application gateway we have configured a pool where two virtual machines are deployed where exactly our website is hosted. So we want to enable our customer to access our website with the help of any domain name. If you want to go through the complete course, you can purchase these courses from my website that is techlearning.spy.com. All the information is given in the description. If you want to check out the course content, just click on course and click on preview. So left hand side, you can see all of the course contents. Other than individual courses, course packages are also available where you can find out the decent discount on these courses. Let's get back to our topic. And if you come to overview, you can see one public IP address has been assigned. Open this public IP address and copy and come back to your diagram and paste it here. And go to the backend pool. You can see inside web pool. Fine. So let's verify if my application gateway is working or not. So go to overview and copy this application gateway because this is working as a load balancer. So this is a load balancer only application gateway. So what will happen in that case when I'm hitting the IP address of my application gateway. So you can see the website is or the session is getting redirected to the backend target. And here if you just click on it, you can see it's very smooth. Sometimes it goes to video, then song, fine. Now, what happens in real time that uh, we do not give this IP address to the end customer. They hit some domain like uh, google.com, facebook.com, yahoo.com. And same thing I also want to configure. Instead of giving this public IP address, I want to give them some URL or some domain name. So what we need to do in that case, we should have a DNS. And inside the DNS, we are supposed to make an entry. If you have DNS in your on-premises, you can make entry there also. But Azure also provide us to option uh, to means create the DNS inside the Azure itself. So let's say how we can create a DNS zone inside the Azure. So click on it and type DNS zones and create DNS zones. and click on resource group my id and this is my domain name and this domain name i have purchased from the godaddy okay so you should have a, a domain name with you if you are trying to do this practical so uh, if you want you can purchase it from the godaddy directly it is start from 250 rupees onward so I have taken one domain that is learninghubtag.com. Click on tag or let's say directly create this one. Okay. So my DNS zone is created. You can see that zone name is learninghubtag.com and this is my DNS zone. And here actually I can create the record. But before creating the record, we need to do one thing. You can see that these are the name servers. What is exactly the name server where your DNS zone <coughs> has been deployed? So for the redundancy purpose, um, Azure has given you the four name server. And the next step is that we need to register this name server in my registrar website. So who is my registrar in this case from where I have purchased this domain. So I have purchased it from GoDaddy. So go to GoDaddy here, open their website. So I have already logged in here because I have an account, manage domains. And it is going to show me the list of domain which I have purchased from GoDaddy. So I have purchased only one domain that is learninghubtech.com. Click on DNS, then go to manage zones. 
ओके मेंशन योर डोमेन नेम दैट इज लर्निंग हब टेक डॉट कॉम एंड सर्च सो वेन यू स्क्रॉल डाउन देर इज ऑप्शन कॉल नेम सर्वर्स सो चेंज क्लिक ऑन चेंज देन कम टू हि एंड कॉपी दीज नेम सर्वर वन बाय वन सो दिस इज फर्स्ट नेम सर्वर एंड यू कैन जस्ट गो हेड एंड पेस्ट इट हि एंड डोंट फॉग इट टू रिमूव दिस डॉट अदरवाइज इट वॉन्ट एक्सेप्ट इट एंड कॉपी द सेकेंड वन ऑल्सो एंड रिमूव दिस डॉट इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन एड ऑल ऑफ द फोर नेम सर्वर्स ओके ऑल आर प्रोवाइडिंग द सेम थिंग जस्ट फॉर द रिटेंडेंसी पर्वज फोर हैज बीन प्रोवाइडेड सो इफ यू आर ओके यू कैन जस्ट प्रोवाइड टू ऑल्सो सो इट विल वर्क इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एड मोर नेम सर्वर जस्ट क्लिक ऑन एड नेम सर्वर सो इट विल गिव यू द एडिशनल ऑप्शन वेर यू कैन पुट यून थर्ड नेम सर्वर और द फोर्थ नेम सर्वर सो राइट नाउ आई एम जस्ट गोइंग विद टू देन क्लिक ऑन सेव and it is giving me a warning message that you are going to change the name server uh, in case you have set up any other infrastructure so that will be disturbed if i change it so i am saying it's okay no problem continue fine so once you do this just refresh it and refresh it couple of time okay this is ns101 ns201 so ns101 ns201 fine so verify it also because sometime when we refresh you will see the different names there so refresh it two three times in this web portal then verify the names fine so this registration also done now what i am supposed to do i supposed to create a record inside my dns so click on record set and here i am going to mention www and it will accept a dot learning hub tag dot com from here now i am going to create a, a record so what is a record whenever we map a domain name with the ip address that time we create a a type record in the dns so which ip address we are supposed to give here we will give the ip address of our application gateway so let's duplicate this one and uh, go to application gateway application gateway and this is the ip address of application gateway and uh, copy this ip address come here and paste it here right and click on okay so this record has been created and uh, you can see that it is reflecting here now what will happen why we added this record so that we need to understand so i created a dns zone here this is dns zone and here the zone name is learning hub tech dot com this is what i created first and uh, then i created a record in that record i mentioned www dot learning hub tech.com and against this domain name or url i have mapped a ip address so this is the ip address of my application gateway so how it is going to work now so this infrastructure will also be connected to the internet so let's say on your laptop this is my laptop now i am typing http code http colon double slash www dot learning hub tech dot com so what will happen so first of all it is going to hit your dns server so it will come to the dns here in dns it will see that against learninghubtech.com there is one ip address has been mapped so the ip address will return back and it will come to my laptop okay 
so on my laptop i have the ip address now so my laptop got to know about the ip address of my application gateway fine now my laptop knows what is the ip address of application gateway so again it will go and directly going to hit this ip address and when it hit this ip address you can see that i have mentioned http in front of my website http means port 80 so currently it is hitting on the public ip address on port 80 right so there is one listener here and this listener is listening to this session so when it is listening to this session i have assigned him a responsibility that you supposed to redirect this session on the backend target or the backend pool that is web pool here and when you are redirecting it to the backend pool you are supposed to use this setting okay where i have mentioned protocol http and the port is 80 here so via the port 80 it is going to redirect that session and through the port 80 it will connect to your backend target that is song or video here and the load balancing task is done by the application gateway. Sometime it will connect to song and sometime it is going to connect to the video. So this is how this whole logic works here. Okay, so we are we have understood the concept exactly how it works. But let's say if it works or not. So to verify that we are supposed to type HTTP colon double slash www dot learning hub tech dot com hit enter so when i'm giving my domain name now you can see that it is redirecting it to the backend target and if you continuously hit this one so you can see it is perfectly working fine it goes to song and videos both of the targets here okay so this is how this concept of application gateway works today we have understood with the help of http what if I want to configure HTTPS because HTTPS is the more secured way to connect to the website or the application. Correct. So tomorrow we will discuss how to configure this HTTPS because for the configuration of HTTPS, we are supposed to do a different configuration and we also should have a SSL certificate for that. So that part we are going to cover up tomorrow as well as that how to configure application gateway for the multiple website. So that also we will see. So there are a few more practicals related to application gateway only. So we will continue tomorrow. If you have any question for today's session and uh, please let me know.